highest praises to the Most High God of Israel, and thank you for watching the Church of Free Negroes and Peoples YouTube channel. Today is going to be quick, but I also want to touch on a few things that I heard and point out a few different groups and expose a few different groups for their hypocrisy. The first thing we want to start, uh, start with is, I know there's a lot of controversy. First of all, I see a lot of people out here bashing the Israelites. And, for, and that's me personally, that ain't cool. Because just because, and I was talking to one guy who was bashing Israelites, and he only knows of one group. I said, so how you going to bash Israelites and you only know of one group? Currently, there are three mainstream Israelite groups. GOCC being one who wears all white. Then you have IUIC who wears purple. And then you ha have ISUPK who is in black. And, and so, and he only knew of one of them. And, he, and the, the, the Israelites he was talking about wasn't even any one of them. He was talking about some idiot who was on the street who was a, actually a Kemite. Which is, we're going to touch on that later. A Kemite who was calling himself an Israelite. Anyway, um, so those are the three major, major Israelite groups. Uh, and GOCC is very thorough in both of their teachings. They're very thorough. So you're going to find nothing but truth from GLCC, period. You're not going to find anything else but truth from GLCC. ASUPK, they're more like, the, they're more like me. They're more, ugh, and judgment, and, and this is now. So you're going to get truth from them, too, because they're like the judgment of God. They're the right hand of God. They're the, they're the, they're the, they're the mindset of God, meaning God is a, has a mindset of judgment. He has a mindset of mercy, and he has a mindset of rulership. And that's who they're going, that's who they, that's, that's their mindset. And you can tell by their character and uh, what parts of scripture that they teach. That's how you can dis decide a true man's character uh, by where, what parts of scripture is he teaching. That's where his mind is. You know, so now we're going to, we're going to expose, the first thing we're going to expose are the Kemites, the Kemet people. Because they out here speaking crazy on us Israelites. And more importantly, they're out here speaking some two-faced hypocrisy. And we're going to get to the bottom of that. The first thing they say is, we are the universe. They say these, we are the universe, but they deny the creator of the universe. This is what the Edomites do. This is what the European people do. They give praises to creation, but they deny the creator. He said, the Gentiles and the Edomites do this. This is why they're called Kemites. Kem 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 and Edomites, because they're the different people, they're the same people, different color. So, Israelites, to my Israelite brothers and sisters who are coming into knowledge, who knows these things, all throughout scripture we have always been hated, the Israelites. From wherever kingdom we were at, we were always hated by the people that were in that current kingdom. And the Kemites were in Egypt, and they, the Kemites, that's Egypt, and they were our slave masters. This is why still to this day, if you talk to any Kimmin who has any knowledge, he's going to tell you that he once was your slave master. And that's the truth. See, that's the part of the Bible that they don't want to talk about. You know, and that's the, what, the next one we're going to get into. Slavery. The Kimmins are the first people to tell you they don't want to accept the Bible because it condones slavery. And what they're talking about is Exodus 21. Where the Lord's talking about the Hebrew slaves. The Hebrew slaves. Those are us, the Israelites. So that means they, that doesn't even pertain to them. So they're getting offended by something that has nothing to do with them, period. That's, that's, they're going to double-sided hypocrisy. But we know Edom is full of double-sided hypocrisy too. The Edomites, the Caucasians. They're of hypocritical people too. And the Kamites are the same people. They're, the Kamites were our slave masters in Egypt. And the Edomites are our slave masters here in America. So stop letting these fake Israelites who are playing, who are really Kemet people posing as Israelites to stir up confusion. I called that out because uh, I have one friend who is a Kemite, but I start meeting some other Kemites out here and they're fucking hypocrites. Excuse my language. They're freaking hypocrites. And I talked to one who called himself an Israelite. But he was speaking Kemite theology and Kemite ideology. And we remember the Pharaoh's ideology were Kemites. Pharaohs were the Kemites. They were our black Pharaohs. They were our black masters. That's why most of them, typically most of them, are, are on that level of strength. They are on that level of training. And they are on that level of thinking. But they deny the creator. And that's the thing too. So, 
uh, when they talk about the Bible condone slavery, it's only Exodus 21, and it says pretty much what employment is. You buy a Hebrew slave, you pay him a minimum wage, and you keep him for seven years, you treat him well. If you punish him, do not punish him to the point where he's dead. If you punish him, punish him enough where he can heal in a few days and go back to work. The same way your employers do to you every day. So you deny the Bible because you claim it's slavery, but then you go to work thinking you're free. That is double-sided hypocrisy. And it's craziness. Because it's employment. It's indentured servitude. That's what Exodus 21 is. So stop listening to the Kemet people. Because they're hypocrites. God already called them out. And that's why they, another reason why they deny the Bible. Because God already punished them. He sent ten plagues on them people. And so a lot of them genealogies still exist today. As well as those plagues. Next thing is. God is. We're gods. This is true. But yet again they deny the creator. It says in Psalms. Has it not been said unto you that ye are gods. But children of the most high. Yes, we are gods only, though, through the most high God. Not by yourself, not through your own thinking, and not through your own strength. Because if you were a god of your own power, you could free yourself from the oppression in America. Yet here you are with us Israelites. So clearly, you're no more of a god than we are. So, Psalms, it says, Have you, Has it not been said unto you that ye are gods? But children of the Most High, give credit to the Creator and give praises to His kingdom, ye hypocrites. The second one is Ain't Made of Clay. I saw that stupid status today. And that guy, I had to check him too. Ain't Made of Clay. And what he's referring to is what His Lord says is the, is, is where the Lord calls us clay and calls Himself the potter. And the reason why He does this is because He formed us. If you look at the human DNA, and the human anatomy, it is so magnificently, magnificently formed. It is formed properly. And it is formed well where each part does something. And each part heals. Each part repairs itself. It is formed. And when a potter forms clay, his hands get dirty. That's what forming means. And that's what God is trying to paint is a perspective. And those timid people are hypocrites. Because ye are the clay. You are not gods without the most high God. Stop, hypocrites. The next crazy thing they say is uh, the black woman is God. And us Israelites know what that means because what they're trying to do is they're trying to get in. This is That is a whole feminist movement. That is part of the feminist movement. See, the black woman being God started during the feminist movement. So now, did see... And I'm trying to point a picture that the Kemites are our slave masters. And so they, are, they should be looked at as we look at the Edomites. Because, let's face it, if the Edomites were destroyed today, Kemet is going to come right back into power. Because they're crazy people. They really are. And I said this in my last video. If the Europeans were destroyed, the Muslims would be our new rulers. And Kemet and the Muslims, they're pretty much the same people. And this is why black people, when we were brought here to America, white people were stupid. So they lumped us all together. But if you woke, so-called woke, you can tell the difference between the Israelites and the Kemites. You know, because these are, they're, not only has the Israelites and the Kemites been beefing all the way back in Egypt, we were beefing way back in Egypt when Negroes were slaves in Egypt. We were beefing with the Kemites. And still to this day, the Israelites beef with the Kemites. So, we must not fall victim to the Edomites ideology or the Kemites because they both denied the Creator. The black woman is God. We're going to touch on that one. Um, the black woman is a very beautiful creation. She is a very magnificent creation, but she was created to serve the ultimate creation. That was the man. She is not God, and that is foolishness. Craziness. She was grafted from the rib of the man the same way Edom, those Spanish nations, are grafted inside of the rib of Jacob. So these people have no understanding and they take one little verse 
and they 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 call it the Bible. So when they say the Bible condones slavery, it did not condone slavery because they only took verse 20 and they forgot verse 1 where it says this is appointment. So pretty much you buy a slave, you keep it for 7 years, you pay it minimum wage and if you punish it, you don't punish it to its debt. That's pretty much employment. You're all still freaking slaves. You're all employees. So that's another Kemet lie. The second Kemet lie is, or well, the fifth Kemet lie is our ancestors. They always give credit to our ancestors, all the power of the ancestors and the guide of the ancestors and the ancestor said this and the ancestor said that. Well, God talked about that. He said, your ancestors served false gods. Your ancestors denied my word. And your ancestors rebuked at me. And look what I did to them. And now I'm going to do the same to you. So, and, and, and it, yes, our ancestors have amazing wisdom. And if you are on that level, you can get guidance and instruction from them as well. But that authority does not come by itself. There is a creator who sits on the throne who gives the authority of his word to and fro. And, and anything that happens on the face of this planet does not leave without the authority of the most high God of Israel. And so the Kemet people would claim all this African power, but they would deny the, the, the creator who gave them that African power. They deny the creator who made them gods. They deny the creator who put those pyramids there in Egypt. Who gave you the knowledge to put the, the holograms and all the stuff in Egypt. Who gave you the knowledge to give the world chemistry and alchemy. Who gave you the understanding to give the world this sophisticated man. It was the creator of the heavens that gave Kim that information. And the Kimites deny him. Just like the Edomites deny him. So you have our slave masters in Egypt that are black, that are Kemet, and you have our slave masters in America that are white, that are the Edomites. So stop letting these people misuse the Bible because they're trying to confuse you. The next lie the Kemet people will always tell us the Bible is the white man's. And I have touched on this so many times. The fact that people say this is ridiculous. It's redundant. And it shows that none of them have ever read the Bible. Because the Bible has shown not, done nothing but prove how black it was. I am black. Job 30.30. I put it up in my last video. My skin is black upon me. Songs of Solomon. And that's not even the Bible. You have the Apocrypha, which the Kemet people would never even admit. You, when you bring up the Apocrypha, or, 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 which, which sheds more light onto it, they deny it. The white man did not write the Bible. He took the Bible and misinterpreted the Bible and sold that misinterpreted to you. So those of you who call yourself free but still say the white man wrote the Bible, you're a slave. Because if you were free, you would never give him that credit. Ever. But you're a slave. And the last point I wanted to touch on was the Hebrew slavery in Exodus 21. And that's essentially what everyone is under now, employment. Exodus 21. So, these are things that we must come out of. And you must understand who is teaching the truth and who is not. And if you can't discern the difference, then it is not those people's fault. Because y'all are here bashing Israelites. I watched an Israelite, who guy who called himself an Israelite, get bashed and beaten by some Kimmy people out of their own fucking, excuse me, Excuse me, out of their own freaking ignorance. So, we must understand because now there are laws being passed in America to try to legalize slavery of blacks again. There are, there are, there are groups, there are petitioning to try to come for Congress because there are white people out here wishing they still had slaves. So you people need to realize now while there are white people out here still wishing they had slaves, there are still Egyptians out here wishing they had slaves too. The difference is they blend in with you. The white man can't. And I learned this the hard way because I was surrounded by my enemies and I always realized, why do they hate God so much? Why do they hate Yahshua so much? What is your beef with Jesus? Why do you hate that Negro so much? And that hate, and I realized why. Because he called them out already. He called them out already. 
And so I was angry to see the amount of ignorance that is being spreaded through Facebook, through false ideologies, and those not giving credit to the Creator. If you're going to call yourself a God, and the Lord says this, will the man say it to thee that's about to slay thee? I am God. Well, let him be his own God and let the man slave thee. And what God is telling you is since you, your God, and I don't exist, when a man comes to chop your head off, let you be your own God. Since you so bad, let you be your own God and that man will kill you. God will allow that man to take your life just to prove a point. Since you God without the most high God. We are God's children of the most high God. As it was already said. Has it not been said unto ye. That ye are God's. But children of the most high. Always give credit to the kingdom. Always give praises to the kingdom. And never ever deny the kingdom. Praises to the Most High God of Israel and to my Israelite brothers out there and to the brothers coming into the knowledge and to the people who don't understand the knowledge because all this beef is going on and everyone is misusing information and everyone is confusing people. We have the beefing with the white people and then here we are as African people. We're still beefing among tribes that we've been beefing with since we were in Egypt. And that is Kemet and the Canaanites, which we're about to touch on next. When God told Moses to go into the land of Canaan, he gave Moses one command. He said, slaughter them. Kill them. Every Canaanite, murder them. That's what God told Moses to do. Because the Canaanites were no different than the Kemites. They had all this beautiful information, yet, oh, we gave it to ourselves. Yeah. We gods, we just put our own selves here. We put this melanin in our own body. That's what we did. We just put it here ourselves. No, we didn't. There was a magnificent creator who put that melanin inside of us. There was a magnificent creator who put those jewels inside of us. There was a magnificent creator who put this form inside of us. There is a magnificent creator who not only gave us a word to say these are my commandments, but if you do not obey these commandments, I will give you to your enemies. Until we realize we're going to continue to fall victim to the Edomites and we're going to continue to fall victim to the Kamites. They're the same people, different color. And be not dismayed because one looks just like you. So we touched on that point. That woman is God ain't made from clay. God is in us. Now I didn't touch on that point good in us. So the Kemet people would say, there is no God because I, God is in me. I'm my own God. Christ says it differently. Christ says, I have placed the God in you. Here they go. They're taking the creation, but denying the creator. They're doing the same thing the Edomites, the Caucasians do. They take, oh, look at the sun, but there's nobody that created the sun. It just fucking put itself there. Excuse my language. It just magnificently up, up, appeared out of thin air. People crazy. So, yes, God is in us because the Lord says there will no longer, there will come a time where you will no longer need a teacher. Because I have placed my message already inside of you. So the God is already inside of you, but you deny the creator who put it there. Ye hypocrites, you vipers of a wicked generation. I'm going to call you out. Just like I call the white people out, it's time to start calling black people out for their ignorance too. That's why. Because there is a lot of people who is in this Black Lives Matter movement, but they deny God. They deny our Negro heritage. They deny us in the desert. They deny how our God brought us out of the desert. Even though there's maps, even though there's proof, even though there's nothing but scientific evidence, they still deny the facts just like the Edomites. They're the same people, different color. So the God that is in us was placed in us by the Creator. And be not dismayed by the Kemites. Because I, 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 I could not understand because coming into the knowledge, 
we were taught one enemy. We were only taught about the uh, the Edomites. You know, a lot of us that were that were new in, 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 into it, we were only taught about the Edomites. We weren't talk about the we weren't taught about the Canaanites or the Chemites. We had to learn that on our own accord by being around them. But you know what? I do have one Chemite that is a good friend. And but I will say this: when we get down to the Bible, we will always disagree each and every time. Um, so, and that's just how it is. That's just how it's going to be. And you just have to be able to recognize who's giving the misinformation. So, those people that were out there are out there bashing the Israelites. You need to know which Israelites you're dealing with. Because there's some crazy lunatics out here that are not even Israelites, they're Chemites. Calling themselves Israelites. And because you don't have no knowledge, because you don't have no understanding, you confuse the two. And that's what the Edomites did. So y'all call the claim, y'all y'all call yourselves woke, but you can't even point out the peoples. If I ask you, point me out a Chemite. Uh, point me out an Edomite. I don't know. Point me out a Canaanite. I don't know. Point me out a Grecian. Point me out an Israelite. These people just magically disappeared. Their lineage just still exists today. And so those of you who bash the Bible, it's because there is the wicked man inside of you. And you're going to use black history to deny our black Bible? How dare you, you hypocrite? I will not let you do that. You will be exposed for the wicked devil that you are. There are black devils too. The white devils ain't the only devils out here. There are some black devils too. And we must be able to point them out. And call them for what they are. And that is the message today to try to break down some walls and expose some things. And presence to the most high God of Israel. And those of you who are coming into the knowledge. All of us little guys who have little mainstream, little YouTube channels. We get all of our knowledge from somewhere. So I can say those of you who want some truth. The only Israelites that are out there that are teaching the truth. Are the GOCC. Uh, ISUPK, the ones in black and the ones in purple. They're all teaching truth. Period. 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 They're all teaching truth. Some of them have different methods. Some of them are just teaching the Hebrews. Some of them are teaching the Hebrews and the Gentiles, like GOCC. And that's why I would say you would get your most knowledge because not only do you get the Hebrew knowledge, but you understand the adoption of the Gentile. I met a white woman yesterday, matter of fact, on Sunday. Matter of fact, it was me and a Kimite. She came up and she prayed over us right here at the library. And she knew who we were. She said, the Spirit told me to come talk to you. Because she knew exactly who we were. She saw an Israelite and a Kimite. And she said, she said it out of her own mouth. I have been grafted in. So... They know who we are. It is time that you begin to break down each African tribe amongst us. Because you go into any hood, you go into any ghetto, and you're going to find three different African tribes in that one ghetto. And the white man called them all black because he just has no knowledge. He, he wasn't trying to take the time and to divide each Negro by his tribe. Because there were so many different tribes. So he just called you all African. Because each tribe is originating in Africa anyway. There would be a map at the bottom of this video. The United States of America is in Africa. Every, every, every And so here's the things that the Kimites are correct on. Africa is the motherland of all birth. Africa is the motherland of every country that exists. For when God broke down the nations, that's how each nation became its own continent and its own in it. And this is how one ocean was broken down into seven. See, those of you who know science can follow science, and science will take you right to the Bible. So the Kimmy people are correct on that aspect. All life did and does originate from Africa. That, they are correct. But they deny the creator of the world. They deny the God of Israel, Ahiah. They deny the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they despise 
They came out accused us, Israelites, of killing Jesus. This they are correct on as well. This they are correct on as well. So the Israelites, when the Kimites accuse you of murdering Jesus, since we know Jesus is a Negro, and it says it, a prophet is not a kin of his own household. He is not accepted of his own people. He's only accepted by the Gentiles. This is why the white man accepted Jesus. He just changed his color. <laughs> he didn't accept him as a black man. He had to change his color. So I guess you could say he really didn't accept Jesus because he had to change his color to do it. So, we must understand this because the kingdom is about to get reestablished. It's very close to being reestablished. This is why the people are angry. I just saw a video yesterday of a police, t three police officers taking a black boy and putting a plastic bag over his head. A 10-year-old black boy and just literally in broad daylight putting a plastic bag over his head. You must understand these white people are angry. Their power is subsiding. They're dying off the face of this planet. Their genetics cannot beat ours. They're becoming inferior. They only make up 9% of the people of the population. And since then, they're now down to 5%. Only 5% of the world's population do white people make up. They realize that people are realizing that they are the minority. And they now are, now they now have enemies rising against them from everywhere. This is why they're angry and they're acting out. This is why they're trying to push out laws to enslave people openly. This is why they're trying to push out laws to kill Negroes more. This is why they're killing all the young black men. Notice that when they're killing the black men, they're not killing these thugs. They're not killing the black man that's killing other black men. They're killing hard-working black men. They're killing black men that are civil civilians. They're not killing thugs. Of course they're not going to kill another black man that's helping them kill black people. They're going to take the ones out that's not doing any harm. Notice the ones that they're killing are young men. This is why we must understand who we are. We must understand our enemies, domestic, foreign and, and domestic. Here's Israelites. We must understand our enemies, foreign and domestic. Because if we not, they will. If we do not, they will overtake us. And if we know our scripture, this is why they're trying to disassociate us with the Bible. They try to say, "Stop believing in that Bible. Stop believing in that God." Because they know there's power in them, and there's power in that word, and that power is going to defeat them. The same thing with the Edomites. They do the same thing. So the Kimites and the Edomites are the same people. Just one is black, and one is white. Notice they love white people, the Kimites. They be like, oh, he's a good white man. And that white man denied the entire God that you come from. How is he a good man and he denied who you come from? Craziness. So let's not be deceived, brothers and sisters. And Israelite brothers and sisters, keep up the faith. Praises to Ahia. Praises to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And thank you for watching the Church of Free Negroes and Peoples YouTube channel.